Hi there, Pat and Ruth. Hope you're having a good day. Hello, Vesta. We'll just wait a few seconds to see if more people jump on. If you'd like to go ahead and click share, that would be awesome. Cindy Howard is in Hazen, North, North Dakota. Oh, is it cold and snowy there? Hi, Margaret. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Today is Thursday, March 7th. Welcome to my Stamp and Peace studio. I am Mary Nave. Um, March 7th, I have to remember to call my brother. It's his birthday. Um, seem to be losing track of time here. Um, I want to start at, start out by apologizing for um, a late cancellation of my Tuesday Facebook Live. Um, it's just kind of one of those weeks. Um, I got some bad news about um, a membership um, social media training program that I've been a part of for a couple of years um, is closing down. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just kind of sad because uh, it's for personal reasons that um, the owner and moderator of that group um, is facing some health challenges and among other things. Um, so I, my heart breaks for her and um, I'm sad that it is not going to be continuing in the near future because they, I feel like I really found my place there and I was learning a lot. Um, but I will continue to find new ways of learning and growing to better serve you. Um, I've certainly got um, several people that I can network with, so um, we'll make their transition together. And then on top of that, you're probably wondering about um, an update on my back. I haven't said anything about that in a couple weeks. I had an MRI on Monday. Um, it was not the results I was expecting. I was thinking I'd be able to get a steroid shot and be good and pain-free, sleep at night, that sort of thing. And that is not the case. Um, there are several other things going on in my spine and I'm being referred to a surgeon waiting for them to call me. Um, that doesn't mean I'm definitely doing surgery. I'm trying to stay positive and not get ahead of myself, um, but I have to admit it was quite overwhelming when um, the doctor called me with all those results. So if you're a peripheral person or um, believe in a higher power um, and positive vibes, I would appreciate all of the above. Um, it, it is what it is, you know, it could be worse. This is, this is my thing I'm dealing with right now and I will get through it as best I can. Um, and it, if, it, if it affects my business in any way, I will certainly let you know that. But that was my reason for canceling on um, Tuesday. So I hope you understand. Today, I've got a wonderful project for you. I'm going to be demonstrating one of my easy one sheet wonders plus three card layouts and we'll make a total of 11 cards. What is different about this is that um, I have decided for the remainder of 2024 on the first Thursday of each month, I'm going to do a 12 by 12 one sheet wonder. And uh, I will give all the information, uh, dimensions, everything throughout the video. So that will always be available to you on replay here on Facebook Live or on my YouTube channel. What is different this time is that um, people can earn. I typically sell many of my One Sheet Wonders um, in a class to go or the PDFs. What is different about these first Thursday 12 by 12 one sheet wonders is that you will have the 
opportunity to get the PDF tutorial, including the One Sheet Wonder template and the coordinating card sketches for free when you place a $50 order with me. And that $50 order can be any time in that month. Um, and today is obviously the seventh. I know a few people already placed orders with me this month. They too will get that March uh, PDF free um, with the One Sheet Wonder template and the card sketches, okay? Just something I would like to do as a thank you to the people who order from me regularly and maybe an incentive for um, others who are sitting on the fence placing orders. Um, I would like to give you something as a small token of my appreciation. So um, again, that will be the first Thursday of every month. And I will announce it on that first Thursday that this is the One Sheet Wonder um, class for the month. And you can get the free PDF tutorial um, with the templates and the card sketches and instructions, products I use, that sort of thing, free with any $50 order in that month, okay? Just something new and different I'm trying. I try to change things up now and then and keep them fresh for, for you and for me as well. Um, I am going to flip my camera around now and I'm going to show you the DSP that we'll be using and we'll get started making 11 wonderful cards. While I'm doing that, please share this live video and invite others to join us. You can also tag your friends right in the comments and it will direct them right here. Oh, by the way, I should um, give you a little Miss Riley update. Miss Riley is officially crawling. So, and Andrea, when Andrea comes to work with me, obviously Riley comes along. So um, I am needing to do some work down here. I've got too many piles on the floors that I need to pick up because um, if she spots something interesting, she's on her way to that. All right. I'm going to be using this sheet of designer series paper from the Poetic Expressions DSP pack. And I just wanted to show you the different DSP patterns in here. Kind of subtle. Um, many of them work great as backgrounds for your cards and things. And there's the reverse side. And pretty good assortment of... Um, colors in here, boho blue, lost lagoon, um, wild wheats, what is that pink, bubble bath, um, Maudie move, Maudie, not Maudie move, Maudie, M Maudie mauve, mauve, Maudie, oh, you know what I'm trying to say, moody mauve, moody mauve, okay, and obviously with my back, I'm really sleep deprived because I can only stay in one position for about an hour and a half to two hours, um, which is progress, but it is really kicking my butt. It's really catching up to me now. Um, so my apologies, my apologies. <laughs> All right. So this is the one I'm going to be using. I've already prepped my other pieces. I've got 11 boho blue card bases. I've got 11 of the white cardstock inserts. Um, and then I've got the pieces that um, will make up the rest of the card. Now, it really doesn't matter which direction your paper goes. This one, per paper in particular, works well either way. Um, if you have a directional paper, that may change the orientation of your cards a little bit, okay? 
But I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this. My first cut is going to be at four inches, okay, four inches. The next cut will be at three inches. And then we're left with a piece that's five inches wide. So let me show you how to cut each of these. Your four inch by 12 inch strip, you'll turn to the horizontal position and we're gonna, going to cut at four inch in increments. And that will give us three four by four squares. My three inch by 12 inch piece of cardstock will be cut into three inch increments. So I've cut it at six inches and then at three inches, and that gives me four three by three squares. And then this last piece measures five inches by 12 inches. Again, turning it to the horizontal position and I'm going to once again cut at three inch increments. So I cut six and I have six over here and half of six inches is three. So that will give me four three inch by five inch pieces. So the first card sketch or card layout um, will be using that and making three, I'm gonna put this down so it's not so loud as I score or burnish those score lines. So the first card sketch will be making three cards with those four by four squares. And again, when I do one sheet wonders for you, um, my job or my goal, I should say, is not to complicate things for you. It's to um, provide you with easy one sheet wonder tuplins and easy card sketches so that you can make 11 cards in a reasonable amount of time. So I'm first going to adhere the four by four squares at the top. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all of the DSP onto the card bases so you get the idea of what the three different sketches are. And then we'll go back and I will add sentiments and embellishments. And along with my easy one sheet wonders, I like to provide quick and easy card sketches for you. You can always step up your cards, right? If we start something with more simple, you can always stamp them up if that is your style. If you like a clean and simple look, um, this is more for you. So the next card sketch, I'll be making four cards with a three by three DSP square on each one. This cardstock is boho blue, if I didn't already mention that. And of all the card bases are the same size. Whoops, eight and a half by five and a half inches, and I scored at four and a quarter inch down the middle. Hi there, Joyce Lutterby, welcome. Hi, Holly. Let's 
see a few more people have jumped on and commented. I love it when you comment. I like to see who's here, see if there's anybody new. Anybody watching for the first time today? There's my four card bases for the second group of DSP pieces. And then for the last four pieces cut from my One Sheet Wonder, I'll make four cards. I'm using, uh, Diane, I'm using Poetic Expressions Designer Series Paper. And you know what? While I say that, um, I have to give a shout out to Jenny Graber. She has been, if you've been following me, she has been um, working hard during Facebook Lives to... Um, Note the different products I'm using, their um, item numbers and prices. Um, she just recently got a new job that she started this week. Um, so she's unable to do that. And she said she's so bummed because she really enjoyed that. And um, it helped her to commit to getting on the Facebook Lives and not missing them. So we will miss her. But she did a great job. It was something I didn't ask her to do. She just started and offered. And um, wow, it was really cool. So these pieces of DSP that I cut from the One Sheet Wonder are three inches by five inches. So the white layer here is um, the white layer here is three and a quarter by five and a quarter inches. Um, Kathy, I will try to do that. I can't promise I will always get to that, but I will try. Um, and basically, what I'll do is include. The main products, um, stamps, bunches, dies, uh, DSP, colors of ink, and um, cardstock, embellishments, those basic things. I won't go into um, adhesives and things like envelopes and paper trimmers and whatever, because those are pretty much the same all the time and those are easy to find online or in the catalog but I will try to um, put the list in the comments or if I'm able to um, alter the description of the video afterwards I can put it right in there as well. Oops. Okay, so now we have all of the pieces cut from our 12 by 12 one sheet wonder. And from that, we've got a set of three cards, four cards, and four. So let's go ahead and 
stamp some sentiments. For the first set of three cards, I'm going to use this um, square that was die cut from the, let me think what it's called, Stylish Shapes Dies. Okay, Stylish Shapes Dies. And I'm actually going to be using it on a diagonal. And I'm pretty much sticking to boho blue and white for this set of cards. Okay, so there's one. Two. I re-inked my boho blue ink pad just before I got on. If you purchase Stampin' Up! ink pads, I do encourage you to um, invest in the re-inkers. I think, oh, what are they now? $350, $375 in that price range. If you love a color and you have that ink refill, you'll be able to use your stamp pad forever. Okay, next I have some three by three white squares, same size as the DSP squares on my second set of cards. And two of them I'm going to stamp with thank you. Oops, I think I forgot to show you. Softly Said is the uh, stamp set I'm using for all of the sentiments, okay? And we're actually using these three, four, um, these four. And there's one extra, but I wanted to uh, feature this today. I think it's really neat. It's a great way to make simple cards and I like the variety of sentiments in here. And this, I believe, is in our online exclusives. I'll have to double check that afterwards. But I believe it's in our online exclusives section. Which means, and that simply means you won't find it in a catalog. It's in the online store only. And if you go to the online store, click shop, and then you can click menu in the near the upper left corner, and there will be a button for online exclusives. So they are easy to find. And then lastly, I'm going to do just because. You know, I started my 40 cards in 40 days for the Lenten season, and with um, my back, with watching Riley for four days, and then getting sick after that, I'm behind, and I really need to catch up. And um, sometimes I'm like, ooh, do I have a specific reason to send a card to somebody today? And I thought, there's no better reason than just because or a simple hello. It doesn't always have to be when somebody's sick or celebrating a birthday. In fact, I think people enjoy getting surprised with cards other times. Kathy, thank you. It is an online exclusive. You are awesome. I think the font on um, this stamp set is kind of cool too. And how it even has like lighter and darker shades within the font. I just think it's kind of a, a fun, playful sort of thing. So now let's add our sentiments. And then we'll be able to finish off with some embellishments. You can see when I do these 
easy Facebook or easy uh, one sheet wonders. I like to work in an assembly line fashion, meaning that I do all of the same steps for the cards. I just feel like I'm more efficient with my time when I do that rather than make one card to completion, move on to the second card and complete and so on. I've worked this way for a long time and it has served me well. So if you don't work in a um, assembly line style, so to speak, um, give it a try and see what you think. Assembly line style is also very helpful when you are making a set of cards or an abundance of cards. Sometimes we like to do a one-of-a-kind, do something special for somebody or a certain occasion. But those of us who send a lot of cards, the one-sheet wonders plus the assembly line style is a great, um, two great practices for you to make several cards at once. This one sheet wonder would work very well for pretty much all of our designer series papers. Um, if you have a directional paper, you just wanna pay attention to the direction when you are adding the DSP to your cards. I think you'll also find these card sketches um, rather versatile because all of them can be changed from vertical to horizontal, every single one, and vice versa. And sometimes the direction of your card is going to be dependent on um, maybe your stamped images or your sentiments. Um, punches and shapes that you use. You could easily swap out these shapes for circles or ovals or some kind of fancy punched or die cut shape. This gives just gives you a very basic layout. Just because cards are a great way to reach out to somebody that maybe you aren't in contact with very often, or it's been a long time since um, you were able to check up on each other. And it sure beats getting a bill, right? Everybody's happy to get happy mail. Everybody loves happy mail. I say bills and junk mail. Okay, so there are my 11 cards, set of three, four, and four. And let's add some embellishments. Now, you probably have scads of embellishments just like I do. So you probably have lots of good choices that would um, 
add to the interest um, and the creativity of your cards. So I pulled out just two, and I'm going to let you help me out here. Um, these are the Adhesive Back Solid Gems, with the Boho Blue as being one of the colors. And then I've also pulled out the 2023-2025 In Color Dots, which has Boho Blue Dots. So you tell me, which ones do you prefer on these particular cards? Either one would work well, so there's no wrong answer. Um, the ones on the left, the solid gems, or the um, in-color dots. Vesta says the last set. Can I be honest and say that was my number one pick? But I thought, oh, it's kind of fun to see what other people think. Carol says the one on the left. See? And they're all good. They're all good. And each of these um, sets of embellishments does come from the um, annual catalog. And, of course, there are more. You don't have to go with Boho Blue embellishments just because... Um, that's our main color. You could do some kind of coordinating color. And before we end the live today, I am going to um, show you another set of cards I made using the very same One Sheet Wonder and a different sheet from the Poetic Expressions Designer Series Paper Pack. There's no right or wrong way to put your adhesives on. You decide where you want them and how you want them placed. Um, I'm gonna hold off on these two for just a second here and go ahead and do these two. Thank you cards. And let's see, I'm going to do this. When we work with embellishments, um, kind of remember that rule of odd numbers. It's been proven that odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye. So that's why you see that a lot of times, like in floral arranging and various crafts and adding... Um, embellishments to our cards. And that doesn't always apply here. I wanted something symmetrical, so I just used the two. So while most of the time we're working in odd numbers, that is not a must, okay? It's a general rule of thumb. And let's see. To look and see what's left on my sheet here. And I'm going to continue adding embellishments to my cards, but I'm going to come back to these thinking of you cards and add a simple bow. Um, gee, do I want those? They seem a wee bit big. I might have to go into another package. I can't tell you how many packages of these I've used. For some reason, they really, uh, really speak to me when I'm creating. I think I'm going to go with, let's try the middle size. So I try 
tried some with the middle size and then two cards with the smallest size embellishment. How many of you prefer to make one card at a time versus um, making a bunch of cards at once? Maybe not necessarily 11 at one time, but um, perhaps three or four at a time. Carol Helm says she likes to make multiples. Okay, I want to add a couple of bows with my, actually it could even be a knot. You know what, I'm going to do a knot instead. The thing I like about doing, and, and there are people who love, who only make one of a kind cards, and that's awesome. If that keeps them happy and keeps them stamping and creating, I'm all for that. The reason I like to make multiples is so that I always have a stash of cards that I can go to when I need them. Sometimes that depends on time, too. Sometimes an idea will pop into our head and we think, oh, I just got to make that card while I'm thinking of it. Or you see something that inspires you, but you don't have a lot of time, so you, but you want to go ahead and make that one, right? All right, so let's just go back through these quickly. Um, again, before we run through these all, um, I do want to remind you that this is the first Thursday of the month. So that means from now through the end of 2024, on the first Thursday of the month, I will be showing an easy one-sheet wonder, 12, uh, sh I should say 12 by 12 one-sheet wonder, and coordinating card sketches. And um, you will be able to watch this replay here on Facebook, Stamp in Peace with Mary Nabe. I will also post it to my YouTube channel by the same name, Stamp in Peace with Mary Nabe. But if you would like to get a PDF of um, that includes the supply list, the One Sheet Wonder template, the coordinating card sketches, and the directions for each of the cards, you can get that free by placing a $50 order during the month of March, okay? And anybody on my team, I see some of you here, J Jaylen and um, I believe I saw Ruth's name pop up, Joyce Lutterby, anybody on my team will get access to that um, PDF for free. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can get that. Um, $50 purchase during the month of March, even if it's before the, um, oh, Pat's here too. Yep, Pat's on my team. Been a while, I think, for Pat. Um, either you're on my team and you'll get it free or you place a $50 order this month and I will send you the PDF as a thank you gift. Again, it includes supply list, um, color photos, the One Sheet Wonder template, the three card sketches, and instructions to complete the cards. Okay? So, the first cut we made was at four inches, and we made four by four squares for these three cards. The next cut we made was a three inch by 12 inch strip. And we got four 
three by three squares to make this set of cards. And then the last strip was five inches by 12 inches. And I cut those at three inch increments to get four of these three by five inch pieces. Oh, Sandy Jarman, yeah, you must have, um, you must have fallen off, I'll say, gone inactive. Um, and if you want, you can call me and we can talk about that and I'll explain why you went inactive, okay? I'd be happy to talk to you about that. All right, thank you so much. I'm going to give away one of each of these cards. And um, if you would like to have your name put into the drawing, yeah, um, if you would like to have your name put into the drawing to receive one of these cards made with a 12 by 12 one sheet wonder and poetic expression DSP on boho blue. Um, let's have you type in the comments now. This will be hard to read. Let me pull this down. Poetic expressions, poetic expressions. Okay. That's the name of the DSP. And remember, you are not limited by your DSP with this one sheet wonder and the three card sketches. This one sheet wonder and these three card sketches will work probably with all of your designer series papers. All right. Oh, I said that I would show you um, another set I made earlier. These feature another sheet from the Poetic Expressions DSP pack, um, and it has Lost Lagoon as its main color. So there's my set of three. Here's a couple of thank you notes, and then two thinking of you cards, and the four just because cards. So. Simple, fun, easy, do not take a lot of time. Um, and of course, the softly said sentiment set, stamp set is fabulous for these. And I just realized I didn't put my white inserts in, but I will do that before I use any of the cards or mail off these three cards to three lucky winners. Um, are there any questions for me today? Any questions? If you have not been on my site, stampinpeace.com, click shop, and then go to the online exclusives. Lots and lots of online exclusive products have been added. Um, I did not purchase them all. I purchased a few, which I will be showing over the next several Facebook Lives. Um, but I think there's something for everybody there. Okay. Um, Vesta, thank you. I'm trying hard to feel better. Um, and I have to look at how many PT sessions I use because you know, insurance only gives you 20 in a year and I've used 12. So I'm trying to save some in case I do have surgery. Um, but in the meantime, I thought um, my daughter suggested doing like a water aerobics or water therapy. So I'm in the process of looking into that. <laughs> Yes, Tony, I need to feel better because I'm going to be in Houston next week from Wednesday through Sunday for the Stampin' Up! Um, on stage event for demonstrators, which I'm really looking forward to, but um, a bad back adds a little stress to that, but I will do my best. All right, everybody, thanks so much for your well wishes. Thanks for joining me here today so I can share um, some of what I love to do with all of you. Have a great evening, and I will see you back here on Tuesday, which is what, the 12th of March. So we'll see you then. Have a great weekend.